Make America great again. Is this statement true? Has America ever been great? The truth of the matter is, America has never been perfect. In fact, it never will be perfect. But the key is to make America a safe place. A safe place where we have the freedom to grow, to learn, serve, worship, speak, and be able to call America home. Questions might come to mind like, what about all the violence, crime, racism, and economic situations? It's true. According to CNN and the Washington Post, homicides are increasing a lot more this year. In Chicago, there are many homicides going on, even as recent as two months ago, with 512 homicides. What about racism? Racism is increasing too. Almost half of Americans, to be more specific, 49% of Americans say racism is a big problem. And economic problems? The most popular economic issues of 2016 are equal pay, minimum wage, corporate tax, property taxes, overtime pay, and that's not including the other financial issues in families and with homeless people who don't have enough to live by. But what can I do to fix all of these problems? I can't fix all the problems in the world, but I can try to do something about it. God has called us to be leaders such as many leaders God has lifted up. For example, Martin Luther King Jr., who had a dream to pursue. George Washington, writing the Constitution. Abraham Lincoln, proclaiming freedom for the American slaves. Thomas Jefferson, drafting the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin, discovering different principles of electricity, and so many more. When I went to Honduras with my church, I was very young. But I could see how kids would get happy with the toys and, and food we gave them. Now that's a deep question. How can we meet the needs of other places and still meet the needs of our city? We can recollect money. Um, by doing car washes, we can do a food drive, we can buy or give items we don't need, we can offer a prayer to someone in need. We can do all of this for our city, but also raise funds and donate things for other countries. Now, does this make America great? No, it makes it better. But what is the true solution to a great America? A great America would only occur if everyone would put God in the center, know that he's in control, everyone be in one accord, but only perfection is in heaven. Me, as a Christian and a human, my responsibility is to spread the word of God, as it says in Matthew 15, 16 through 18, and pray for this nation. Pray for our pastors, leaders, and pray for our new elected president, Donald J. Trump. I pray that God gives them the guidance to supply the people's needs. No matter its imperfections, God has a plan with this nation. It is founded with Christian principles, and as it says in 2 Chronicles 7.14, God will bless this nation. We have to be a nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.